Well, after days of cleaning up and salvaging what they could, help is finally on the way for homeowners in Calumet City. The south suburb was hit hard with more than a half foot of rain. CBS 2's Andrew Ramos has been on the ground since Sunday storm and joins us live from Calumet City. Andrew. That's right, Erica. Some are calling what happened here on Sunday a 500 year flooding event. It brought as much as nine inches of rain in a matter of three hours. Overwhelming the city's already aging infrastructure. The goal now, officials say, is to help those impacted homeowners as well as make sure that this never happens again. It was a weather event that no municipality could have prepared for. That's according to officials in Calumet City. A slow moving weekend storm dumping nine inches in three hours, overwhelming its sewer system, flooding streets and causing headaches for homeowners. The uh, walls, uh, couches, furniture, everything is floating. Totes, totes is floating down there. Wow. And our residents are hurting. We've never seen anything like this. Mayor Thaddeus Jones held an emergency city council meeting Wednesday where $1 million in funding was authorized to help impacted residents. We can't fight Mother Nature, but we can help our residents in their time of need. You can begin to smell it, it back here. Residents like Robin Davis, whose basement was ravaged and car destroyed by floodwaters, are being urged to first go through their homeowners or renters insurance. If their claim is denied, then they should go to the city's website to fill out a residential flood form, which will provide both the city and county with a damage assessment of their impacted homes and businesses. Applicants could then get approved for up to $9,000. As the city looks ahead, addressing its aging infrastructure is now a priority, something they were already addressing after severe flooding earlier this summer. The $10 million plan to identify all the problems, to clean, to televise and analyze all of our sewer system throughout the whole city to begin to understand what do we need to do. In a plan that will lean on the state for funding, the city is asking for at least $15 million to rebuild the levee in the Calumet River. And long term, they also want to rehab all the city's sewers and repay 50 miles of alleys, a project already underway. It took a long time to get in this situation. It's going to take some time to get out of it. Now, going back to those relief efforts are currently underway, the city says they are well aware that there are some elderly out there who are not going to be able to go online to fill out those forms. Well, they are urged to call the city directly and they will have a clerk help them over the phone. Reporting live in Calumet City, I'm Andrew Ramos, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Andrew.